What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the most expensive lots of inventory I have ever purchased to flip for profit. This was a lot. Let me show you what we have. So if you guys remember a couple videos ago, I went and cleaned out this entire room. And now we have boxes and boxes filled here. So we have a ton of inventory now. And what is inside is... A bunch of these NHL McFarlands. I picked out some of these ones here to put off to the side. I, I am a collector myself, but I don't know what I'm going to keep. So I do have some Gretzkys here. I do have a Sidney Crosby here as well. Which I think I'm going to be keeping that because that's him in his Winter Classic. But we do have tons and tons of boxes. So far I've been through this box here. Box number two, three, and four. I did go and write on them because I do have a strategy of uh, going through box by box to see what there is, especially when it comes down uh, to time to list. So yeah, today I'm hoping to go through box five, six, seven, eight, maybe even nine. I do have my girlfriend's grandfather who is kind of an expert whenever it comes to NHL McFarlane's, but... There is a lot to go through. So luckily the seller did send me pictures prior to me making this massive purchase. And I did find there is a lot of really top players, some really expensive ones that I'm really excited for. So in my opinion, I did pay up because I did post questions in a Canadian reseller group uh, on Facebook Marketplace asking what kind of profit to expect. Everybody was telling me to pay just $5 each. This one here, this whole lot of 260 to about 280, I don't have an exact number right now, but there's about 260 to 280 of these McFarland NHL figures all sealed in the package. This cost me $3,500, which is about 12 to $13 each. Now that does sound like a lot, especially the $3,500 part, but you have to remember that a lot of these are going to be selling for more than what the average one sells for. So whenever they were telling me to buy them at $5 a piece, that would make sense if it was a lot of lower end ones. What I found in here is there's a lot more higher end ones as well. There is a ton of Gretzky, a ton of Brodeur, a ton of goalies in general, and goalies usually fetch a lot more. I did buy about 20 of them three years ago and you guys loved that video, but now I have a lot more of them in my inventory that it's going to take me a lot longer to sell these, probably longer than it took my last comic lots, and this is the most money I've spent on stuff. On average, when I'm looking these up, they're selling anywhere from, on the low end, about $25. Like I said, I do have a lots that are around the $40 mark. I have found some that are 60, all the way up to $100 plus for one single one. So I know there's profit to be made. I'm expecting hopefully within a year, I'll be cut down hopefully by half, but there is a lot of work to be done to go through each box, listing it, taking photos, and then posting it online as well. And kind of my strategy to organize everything by me writing on it, for example, box one here, I have went and listed each figure that is inside that box. So I have all the players' names here, the jersey color that they have on it because certain ones are worth more, the team that they played for because if it's a player that wasn't known for playing on that team, sometimes it's worth a little bit more, I found out. I do have some notes uh, that's going to be separate. So this one here for Martin Brodeur, um, it is, some of the plastic is separating on that one and one only. And then I do have the prices on the side here. So for the first one here, there is a lot of $25 ones. There's a lot of $30 ones, which is mostly the goalies in that. But this one here, Doug Gilmore in the uh, Calgary Flames was $50, which is one that I was not expecting to be that high. So today, like I said, I'm probably going to go through maybe six boxes or so and list some more. I went through four yesterday. I'm hoping to do the other six today. And then once I have everything written out and then I check the prices on everything, then I'm going to start converting it over to Excel. I already started that with what's listed here. The first four boxes are already transferred onto Excel. Way easier to organize. And I just take a screenshot of each uh, Excel document that I have. 
one per box or one sheet per box. I take a screenshot of that whenever I'm listing them. And then people can basically go through the list and also check on the photos as well. I find that's way easier. And that's what other sellers are doing. I did join a bunch of McFarland collector groups. And they were telling me that on average I should expect $25 each. And I had a lot of people messaging me for certain ones. So I do have some that are pending right now. And some very cool ones as well. Just off the top of my head and also double checking with my list here. One that I didn't... Uh, I wasn't aware that I did have was Wayne Gretzky, the 1984 Team Canada one, which I guess is a chase. It's him with the red jersey. That one there is a $70 one. I didn't even know it was worth that. I thought it was going to be around the $30, maybe $40 mark, but it's around $70 because it is a rare chase. So I did find that one. Another one that I was really excited that I did find. I knew about it, but I didn't know exactly how much it was going to be. And that's in box four. I would show you, but that's at the bottom box right now. And that is Roberto Lulongo, all four variants of his McFarland. So it has him with the white jersey, blue jersey, dark blue jersey, and the alternate jersey for the Vancouver Canucks. Those are about $100 each. So finding that, I'm very excited. I do know there's some Patrick Waugh that are expensive that are in there because he has variant uh, helmets on. I know there is two Carey Price. One is a plain white helmet, which I guess is rare. And then there is the Habs one, which is also rare. So there's a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of rare ones. A lot of ones that have an error. I know there's one figure. I have yet to find it physically. I did see it that day whenever I was picking these up. But to go through and for me listing everything, I haven't found it yet in the first four boxes. But it has the wrong arm on him and it was manufactured like that. So that one skyrockets for some reason. And then there's others that have little key details that are different. For example, if a goalie has the team logo on his water bottle, that figure alone is worth a lot more. Just because of the little water bottle, just that little detail on the water bottle makes it worth a lot more than just regular ones. And then there's others... For example, if they were a captain, there's a version without them with the C, and there's a version with them with the C. This guy had both of them, so I do have both. One is obviously worth more than the other. And then if they made it into the playoffs, there is a little patch that goes on the jersey. One of them does have that as well, so... A few with the Stanley Cup and a few other great ones. I'm expecting some profit, but exactly to figure out a number, I'm assuming around double. I think I'll easily double my money on this. I'll make probably around $3,500 profits, but it will take some time and it is going to be a lot of work. Looking in this room, if you guys remember that video, I did recently clean this out. So it does sadden me a little bit to see it full, pretty much to the ceiling again of boxes. I did love that this was all cleared out, but this space was cleared out to get more inventory. It's just, this is stuff that's going to take longer to sell. I don't know if I should have waited and found a comic lot or a ton of video games at a great deal again, but I still have room for other things as well. But yeah, just boxes and boxes of these figures to go through. So like I said, I'm going to be going through these next. Hopefully I find a bunch of the other ones or also ones that I wasn't expecting to be worth money. Look them up and if they are, even more money for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to take me some time not only to go through, but also to list, price everything out, make the Excel documents for each box, and start hopefully selling like crazy. If I can at least sell more of the higher end ones, I do have some people that are interested in buying it as a lot, but they're offering about $5 each. So if I can sell off a bunch of the more expensive ones, and then for other people, sell off and lower my price maybe to around $15 each, that's still me making profit off of them if I paid $12 to $13. And then whatever's left over, selling to the ones that are offering $5 each. If that's 100 ones at the end, and I'm just having a hard time selling those, then I will take $5 each for those and just get them gone. But for now, I think I'm just going to be listing them as the price is, seeing who's interested in what, and then just going from there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's going to be a lot of work, but I know there is profit to be made. Hope you guys enjoy this series, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.